And we begin with team coverage on a serious surge in COVID-19 cases. The Hamilton County Health Department reports 120 new cases, the highest daily number since March. And in Marion County, there's an outbreak at the county jail. That's where we find Mary Frances Hoots live with more. Mary Frances. Well, David, they tested all of the inmates on Monday and 28 of them tested positive. Now, right now, so far, no employees have tested positive. It's also been 15 months since this jail has seen a COVID case. Last week, an inmate at the Marion County Jail tested positive for COVID. A lot of people had just kind of thought that that part of our life had gone, gone on. It's a new territory for Sheriff Ronnie Bo Burnett. After 28 of their 140 inmates tested positive, they had to change up their operations a bit. We've offered a mask. Uh, I have nurse on duty seven days a week, so they're aware of it. And uh, we've taken two pods, making isolation pods out of it. They are keeping a close eye on it and testing inmates who show symptoms. So far, nobody has been taken to the hospital for treatment. Nobody's showing any real bad sickness. Some of them have had a low grade fever. Inmates are not required to share their vaccine status when they are admitted. The state has said they will administer vaccines for any inmates who want it. They have to sign a release and they would come back and, and give the vaccine. Stand by. Sheriff Burnett says he's been in communication with the Franklin County Sheriff, which is the county that borders Marion County. They're also experiencing an outbreak at their jail. They said they're going to follow similar strategies and isolate inmates who have tested positive in separate pods. David, back to you.